person than the other way around. Okay, so this entire narrative is complete smoke and mirrors. It's all made up. It's just election fodder. It's white versus black because it's an election year, not because black Americans are suffering at the hands of police officers more than white Americans. Do some police officers do the wrong thing? Yes. I don't think there's anybody in the world who has not encountered a police officer and thought this person is an absolute jerk who is power tripping, whether you are black or white. We know they exist. And we know they're always going to exist, by the way, because they're human beings. And sometimes human beings suck. In fact, if you want to attack a community for, for you know, accidental slayings or brutality, did you know that doctors accidentally kill a quarter of a million people every year because of mistakes? Do you know that there's, there's been doctors that have been arrested for being serial killers, that just for killing people because they wanted to? Do we protest and boycott doctors? Do we assume all doctors are horrible human beings because some doctors are? Or do we realize that society is not perfectible? People suck in every profession. It is no excuse to paint society with a broad brush. It is certainly no excuse to accept a Democrat narrative, okay, that black people are being disproportionately hunted down by police officers because of the color of their skin. You want to know the best way to avoid not being not being brutalized by a police officer is to not is to is to lo- limit the amount of encounters you need to have with them, especially when it comes to violent crimes. OK, I am not going to stand for this continual bottom feeding narrative of us martyring people that have had five, six, seven stints in prison and then pretending they were upstanding heroes to our community. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Excuse my language. It's absolute bullshit. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of having to play pretend. I'm tired of sitting here and being called a coon or an Uncle Tom because I won't play this bottom feeding game with you. If you want to hang up posters of criminals on your wall and talk about them as your martyrs, do it. Do it. You can do it. Kobe Bryant was my idol. Okay, I'll keep a photo. I'll keep a photo of Kobe Bryant. You can keep one of George Floyd and pretend he was an upstanding human being that just once or twice put a gun across a pregnant woman's belly. Could you imagine that woman right now? That black woman, by the way. Right. Watching everybody pretend this person was an upstanding human being who just at the age of 42 and five prison stints was going to get.